Welcome back to the channel. This is Slayer from BeatMachineProductions.com. Before we get into it today, make sure that you like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. So the first thing I did on this track was load up an instance of Keyscape. I used the default grand piano. The only change that I made to this was I went to the sensitivity for the velocity and I just turned that up because I felt like it adds a more realistic sound to whenever you're putting in piano parts. So this one is in the key of A flat minor. So this is a pretty simple chord progression. So it just walks down from A flat to G flat to F flat, or if you want to think of it as G sharp to F sharp to E, if that's easier for you to think about, it's all the same. So, uh, and then the only other thing that I did here was I added a little top melody and this doesn't look too complex because it isn't. So this idea right here is the exact same over here. The only change is I had a little walk down on the melody here and this is what it sounds like all together. And you could see that I changed the velocity on a lot of these, especially on the top melody, because I wanted that to be more of a background part whenever this is playing. Added a few tones to just break up the chord so it's not blocky the entire time. And then I doubled the root notes and then dropped those down an octave. As far as what I did to the sound, uh, I just put an EQ on it uh, and some reverb. So here's the reverb setting for the fab filter reverb and then the EQ. I just rolled off some of the low end just so that the low uh, bass voice on this chord progression wouldn't interfere with the 808 or anything else that I put in there. So after I finished with the piano, I wanted to add some guitar. So I recorded some acoustic guitar. I actually just used this microphone that I'm talking into right now because I knew I was gonna do a lot of processing after the fact. So this is what the acoustic guitar sounds like with no effects on it. So you can see it's incredibly simple. I wanted something that wasn't gonna take away from the piano and something that was gonna to add to uh, the, the vibe of the track. So all the effects that I used, I used Guitar Rig 6 on this and um, you can get this in Contact and this has got a lot of great presets for guitars. Uh, this is the actual preset that I used. So you can find this. I went under the metal section and I went through probably 10 or 15 before I found this one, I really liked it. So I. A guitar rig, I put some RC20 uh, just to kind of add some space to it and also a little bit of EQ cutting out a lot of the lows and a lot of the highs. Added some EQ as well and then I also added some reverb. So now this is what it sounds like with all of the effects on it. So after the first guitar was finished, I went into Omnisphere and found a second guitar. It was the bluesy lead. I didn't really change anything about the preset. I did record this in and con consolidate the audio so that I could manipulate it some more. So this is what the second guitar sounds like on the right side. And here you could see some of the effects that I had on here. So I added a little bit of saturation from Saturn 2 just to give it a little bit more edginess to the sound. Also put RC20, pretty much the same exact preset that I had on the second, the first guitar. So that way they kind of have a similar sound. I added uh, the reverb on here and then did the exact same EQ. And then finally I came in and added some uh, EQ an additional EQ, so I cut out a lot of the lows, a little bit of the highs, and then I found some frequencies that I didn't like, so I just kind of ducked those out until it had a nice sound to it. So when I finally had the second guitar done, I decided that I needed a little bit more movement in the piano just to add more variation throughout the beat. So this is actually a second piano track that I made using the same preset from Keyscape, and this is what it sounds like by itself.
So once I added that second piano part, I felt like I had everything that I needed for all of my main melodic ideas. So this is what both piano parts and both guitar parts sound like together. So after all the melodic ideas were done, I added an 808 next. And so I wanted this 808 to have some simple parts so you can see that it's just walking down the, the root notes right here. But then I also added a few notes at the end of each phrase or some pattern changes here just to add some variety. So this is what it's gonna play for the first part of the pattern. And this is the second part. So it's not gonna be the exact same all the way through so that it doesn't get you know boring or monotonous or whatever. So this is what the 808 sounds like. And you can see that this is playing within all of the chord tones of those three main chords that I use. So, uh, you know, whenever you're making your 808, of course, it's great to use the root notes, but you can also use, especially if it's a chord, it's going to have a root and a fifth. So whenever you use that fifth, it sounds really good in all of your bass patterns. And that's what, you know, a real bass player is going to use a lot of the times. Of course, you can also use the third of the chord, whether it's a minor third or a major third, but you know, that's that's just a, a tip to use if you want to add some more melodic content to your 808s is utilize the fifth of the chord as well or even the third just to give it some more harmonic motion. After I finished up with the 808, the next thing I did was add the drums to it. I tried to leave these nice and open, but I wanted to make sure that I created a nice bounce to complement the 808 and the guitar and piano parts that were going on. This is what the drums sound like by themselves. So after I finished sequencing the track, I wanted to add my transition effects. So I had some risers, I added a drum fill on every eight bars, and then I also added a vocal riser that I found in the Simon Servita uh, CDK4 kit. This is what it sounds like by itself. So that's all for today's video. Make sure you stick around for the full beat coming up next. Also, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We'll see you guys in the next one. Machine in the building.